Hey there, welcome back to East Texas Live on KETK. Gail Helms is back uh, with a cute little puppy up for adoption and he's got his Halloween costume on. This is Mink. He does, yes. Tell me about Mink. Mink and his two brothers came to us a couple of weeks ago and he now is eight weeks old and he's had his first round of shots. We brought our little hat because we're selling uh, Halloween costumes at the shelter for five dollars and I thought this would just be an appropriate promotion for that <laughs> but he's very sweet we're not going to do that to that baby but there he's very go. sweet he's going to be a medium-sized dog when he's grown he's uh, probably got some red healer in him and then who knows what but you know those are the best dogs in the world I love the this guessing game y'all have to play with the breeds I know right? it's really <laughs> yeah and the other thing is trying to find the names for all of them you know we kind of run out of names well and look at this personality you have some um, puppies that are jumping around and just happy to be here yes. and you have puppies that you can't hardly control or they just feel comfortable and they take a right. nap and this, this guy seems so concerned it's okay buddy <laughs> but a sweet pretty little puppy he is very healthy he's a little bit shy right now but all he needs is a family with some older children to love with him and as it gets bigger to romp and stomp with them but so if you're uh, looking for a puppy that you can start training and to be with you for many many years you need to consider Meek. How big, do you think, how, how big do you think Mink's going to be? I think he'll probably be 50 pounds when he's grown, but right now he's just a little cuddle bug and all he wants to do is just nuzzle under your neck. Just a sweet sweet little baby. Uh, he seems to be doing a little better. Yeah, so if you're interested in Mink, you can go to the website at petsforpeople.org, click on that adoption application. It takes about five minutes to complete it, submit it. We'll call you and make an appointment. If you have children, we want you to bring those. And if you, and if you have other dogs, bring those too. And let's see. Okay, so is this recommended for younger kids? You said older kids earlier. No toddlers. We just don't think that's a good match. But maybe four and five on up I think would be good because he's going to be raring to go pretty quick. Do you think he's going to be this docile in adulthood or is it just because he's no, freaked out right no, now? No, because he's just uh, very shy and doesn't okay. know what's going on. But no, I think he'll be romping and stomping. So how much does it cost? It's 195 and that's turnkey with everything. Spay, neuter, vaccinations, microchips, a bed, a leash, a collar and a perfectly healthy happy baby that just needs somebody to love and if somebody beats you too mink y'all have a couple of siblings we do okay and one of them is blind and deaf so he has a brother that's his guide dog and so they would have to be adopted together but it is a wonderful sweet story and um we think he has an opportunity or should to live a long, healthy life. I had a deaf dog for a while growing up, and it was oh, it was can. okay. I know it. It's amazing how resilient they are. And where would they have to go to pick up Meek? Petsforpeople.org on the old Kilgore Highway. We've been there since 1968. So East Loop and 31? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Gail. And thank you, Meek. Thanks. Well, he finally calmed down, <laughs> but is he taking a nap? The show's not that boring. It's that bad. Get off the show. <laughs> You're banned. All right. For more information, petsforpeople.org, petsforpeople.org. And I'm kidding. You're not banned thank from you. the show.